how do you see this going from Man, United, from Man United's point of view? How do you see this playing out? I think you'll win. I think Chelsea, have, when they've, they've, they've there, I'll say that in English, whenever they've come up against a big side this season, whether that's Liverpool, whether that's City, um, Newcastle last night, I know they beat them at the weekend. I just don't, I don't know if it's completely clicking at this moment in time. However, you've got a new manager bounce. And it doesn't matter if it's Chelsea or Liverpool, you don't want to be on the end of that. I, I, and I don't think Chelsea would, would are that confident. If it was Ten Hag, Chelsea would blow you away 3 or 4 nil like we did. But the atmosphere last night, I know you're playing Leicester, but it's all relative. I think you'll have your you'll be right up for it. You know, Rube will have the boys, you know, you'll be you'll be smashing out a bit of oasis beforehand or whatever it is you bang out there. I think you win, do you win this game. I think do you go above mate, above Chelsea if you win? No, you still, we'll you still be three points behind. They're six points. Point how many points? No, they're six points ahead of us. They're six points yeah. ahead of us. They're on 17 points. We're on. Yeah, so when everyone was 11. saying Man United won't get top four, we're gonna write off top four. I, I don't I don't think it's not over. I think there's still seven or eight teams in the race, right? That will be, be in and around there. About that race right now, man. We're in October still. Come on, man. Yeah, exactly. People, people are saying they're out of the race, like two or three wins, and you're back up there. I think we have to remember how poor Chelsea sure, were last season under bro. Poch, right? And it wasn't until probably about February time. And yeah, we, February, we made right. us you chase... were on that 10-runner games. Exactly, right? So you can get incredibly close in a short amount of time if, if you can put some results together. So Manchester United were, were never out of it if they acted quickly, and they have done. They were just obviously think... won by the cup. Win. I think United are going to be up for it, though. They, 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 they've just they've, they've beat Leicester. They've got rid of 10 Arg. It's another home game. You know, I've looked at their fixtures. After that, I think they've got Bodo Glimt, Ipswich. Southampton, like that's that's a that's a nice run of games for Rude. And what you don't want is United to win five or six, and Rude's going. Hang on, do you, do you really want to bring in this this Portuguese lemon squeezer? I think I'm going to put my neck like, out. He can't win four. If you win four, he can't win five or six. He's, he's only going to manage right. another three games for us. Well, if he wins um, all all, three, all four that he's managed, it, 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 it Gow is too much being made of this new manager bounce for Man United. I'm I'm trying here to say as non-partisan as I can in this. Do you think too much is being made? Oh, and by the way, that's a disclaimer for all the United fans watching. I'm not playing it down. It's called hosting. You disclaimer up. Oh, no. I know. I, I, I haven't done it for a few weeks. It was triggering. It was triggering all the right people. Some of my some of my trolls in the comments are very upset about my disclaimers. But yeah, do you think too much is being made, Egal, of the new manager bounce in this scenario? Larry, it's only been one game, but I do expect it to be continue. You guys to continue to play well. Because the moment you get a manager out the door that the players are not backing or are continuously making mistakes, it somewhat almost seems intentional that they wanted him out the door. The, the way their performance is working, you're going to see their you're going to see them start to perk up and start playing better. The likes of Bruno Fernandez and some of these other guys who are leaders in the team are going to all of a sudden be back to their best. And Chelsea seeing the performance versus Leicester. I would be a little bit more concerned. You, you, uh, Dan, you're right to be saying to yourself, I hope they kept Ten Hag for another two games because now you're going to probably get, you're going to probably see Manchester United's best performance in the Premier League this season versus you guys. And it's simply because that, that negativity is uh, gone. The, the, the thing, the pressure of the manager constantly being sacked is out, out of their way and they can just play football. And the new manager hasn't even come in yet. You're going to have Ruud Van Nistor there and he's just going to be drilling them to make Rude. sure they finish. That they finished the chances that they created. And same thing that happened to you guys when Carragher was came to your ground. I expect Manchester United to get a result in this game simply because of the the, the energy they're gonna have from the all the negativity being out the window and Chelsea coming off the back of a game where they fully rotated and see, Manchester United that's, and why, Manchester that's why I think you have to look at um the fact that Chelsea haven't won at Old Trafford in eleven years. I think um, to correct me if I'm wrong, it's eleven Old years. Trafford's still a tough place to win. Um, no, but do you know what, George? George, the last, time they won there, the last time they won there, I remember it. It was I went to the game. It was the day after my stag do, and I dro I went to the, 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 the I drove up early hours of the morning, still off my head. Watched the game. It was the only game I think I've ever watched us lose. We'd already won the league then as well. It's it was very Fergie's late. Last year, isn't it? Yeah, Fergie's last year. Matt, I think Matter scored. I it was the only time because we'd already won the league. I was heavily hung over because of my stag do. <laughs> Where we lost, and I, I just was like, "Get me to the hotel room. I need to sleep." I remember that game. I remember the. I remember the game vividly. I remember the day vividly. But yeah, that was that's a long time ago now because I'm now divorced. <laughs> Terry, 
Jerry, not only not <laughs> only do I think you guys are going to beat uh, Manchester United, I think I mean I think not only do I think you guys are going to beat Chelsea, I think Chelsea could go on a couple game losing streak off the back of this because not only will they lose to you, <sighs> one second, not only do they play Manchester United away, then they got Arsenal their ground. It could it could it could be a couple games in a row. You know what? I think we're doing way too much here because that narrative of oh, Chelsea haven't beat United at Old Trafford for 11 years. Well, a gal, you and Arsenal fans weren't like this. You've not beat us at Anfield in 12 years in the league. Like, but one day it has to end. That's like, not going to carry on going forever and ever. So I believe there's enough. Yeah. To, uh, no, no, no. Flip that. Flip that. When we play you at your ground, are you going to be saying that? Or are you going to be saying, oh, we haven't beaten you. We haven't beaten us in 12 years. Which one are you going to be saying? I'll still be saying that because I'm going to back my team. But I'm okay, just saying I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not stupid enough to know one day it will end. I'm just saying things, all good things come to an end. So I think it comes to an end this week for United. I think Chelsea do get the win. Of course, I, it's going to be much harder under Root than it is on... Of course, it's going to be much harder under Root yeah. than it was Ben Hart. But I feel like people are doing a bit too much with, with Chelsea. How many changes did you make last night, Dan? 10? I think it was 10 11, changes. 11, mate the whole team. If Chelsea filled that team that they filled against us, Caicedo, Lavia, Palmer, Jackson, whatnot, I think they'll still have a bit too much for you. Yes, you've got a new manager bounce, but I think their 11 against your best 11, they're still, they're still a bit too much quality for me. And they've been playing together more as a team. So I just think Chelsea will nick the win this, this but, week. But you do realise Chelsea outscore teams. They don't really defend well, in my opinion. Yeah. So, Manchester, so Manchester United at home, Manchester United at home, they're going to get a couple goals. And in that situation, it's going to be an open game. It's not a game where... It's not a game where... I'm going to do, do a Lewis here, Posh Tax. <laughs> no, it's, Chelsea's not a team. Chelsea's not a team where you can feel confident they're going to come to your ground and they're not going to and they're going to come out there with a clean sheet or, or, or convincingly win. I think whatever happens is going to be a shootout. And in a shootout, with the with the with the with the with all the confidence they're going to have from the manager being gone, why not back Manchester United? We have seen Newcastle, who haven't scored in like five games, score against them last week. Mm. I think one thing is for sure. One, one thing is for sure, and I'm I'm doing my preview with the boys tomorrow on Straight Facts. I'm not going to give all of my opinions away. You got to save the content. The one thing I will say though, this is going to be a high goal goal scoring game. Yeah, because I've got both, to say teams, that. both yeah. teams Sorry. leak big opportunity. It, I would 100%. I want to win, of course I do. If we lose and we don't score, that's going to really piss me off because Jerry, I think you, we've got to score in this game. We have to There'll score. There'll be minimum, game. minimum. This is how mad I think this game is going to be. There'll be minimum five goals in this game. Genuinely, I, I think there'll be minimum five goals. In this. I, Could be. I don't know if we're going to do score prediction at the end of the segment, but it won't be. It won't be like I don't think Chelsea will win a two, three goal margin. I think they'll just about win, but there's going to be goals in this game. Roms, what you said. Roms, what are you saying? Over, over 4.5, bro. Over 4.5 yeah. on that yeah. 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 I'm on <laughs> although, it wasn't, although it wasn't <laughs> Old Trafford, the last time we played was obviously when Cole Palmer got the two goals late in injury time. It was 4-3. So Roms exactly. isn't far off with that. But... Oh, yeah. And, and what was the score you know in the first game of the season? So uh, the first game, one it was 2-1, yeah. but yeah. there was a lot of chances in that. We beat you 4-1 the previous. There's been a lot yeah. of goals in this game in the and last it, few and then years. And we actually went through a period, Terry, if you remember where, it was a draw pretty much every game for a couple of seasons. We, we just kept yeah. drawing with each other. So and very, very rarely a nil-nil. And I just think, yeah, man, you know, I think what Rude's going to do for Man, this is what I think he's going to do. I'm not, I'm, I'm not overstating the improvements in this so far. I, I kind of, I, I, I heard what Lee, uh, Mark Goldbridge said today, where he sort of, he was actually frustrated that the players played better, and he doesn't believe in this whole the shackles were off. I agree that the shackles haven't been released. I just think the players were tired. The players were frustrated. They knew it wasn't working, and there's a, a different sense and feeling in the dressing room. We've all seen it. But I think Rude is just going to say to them, go and play, go and attack, go and have fun. I don't think Rude's yeah. going to be doing up too much tactical training. I don't think he's going to be doing up too much systems. It's going to be work on a basic system. Guys, go out there. That's why I think Casemiro and Ugarte will start because, look, boys, you're holding that midfield. Cass, you can go into an eight roll when you need to. Just go out there and sc just, I think the message will be, go out there and try and score more goals than Chelsea do. Which I think for a neutral watching is going to make it, a very, very uh, interesting game. Uh, viewers, we want to get your score predictions in right now in the live comment section or the comment section below. But I'm going to get score predictions off the boys now. I'm going to go to George first. What are you saying, bro? 2-1 United. Sure. Dan? 2-1 Chels. Oh, Egal. I'm going 3-1 Manchester United. Hey. Henry talks bollocks. What are you saying? <laughs> 2-1 United. 
Or Henry talks kraut, we should call you now. 2 1 United. Go on, son. Saad, what are you going with? Uh, I actually believe in this whole thing, and I, I, I'm going to go 4 3 United. Ooh, I think it's going to be a mad. You've game. already lumped on, haven't you? You've already. You've already... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Listen, I listen. I don't bet, oh, but Haram, I, I, just, Haram, I just, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't bet, but I, I just think it's gonna be a really mad. I agree with you both. What you said, bro. Like these guys are just gonna go out there and just score goals, 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 goals. Listen, it's Cole Palmer's. This is Cole Palmer's game against the top six. The only one that he gets a goal, bro. So you know what I mean? He, he's, mm. he's gonna. And, and we, he uh, loves us. We, he supports us as well. He supports us. Uh, By the way, how good? How good would Cole? How good would Cole? Cole Palmer be in uh, Amarin. Forget the dream. Forget the dream, man. Forget the dream. He's locked up. Cole Palmer's locked up, bro. He's got handcuffs. You you love boxing. This is going to be reminiscent of Hagler Hearns. You're just both going to be punching each other's other's face off. I'm going to go 3 2 Chelsea, though. I think Chelsea nick it 3 2. It'll be high scoring. Fair dues, viewers. Give us your thoughts. Give us your feelings in the comment section below. We are going to talk in Arsenal versus Newcastle on this show as well. That is coming.